All right, it is the week of June 7th, 2022, and we are here to tell you about all of the new science fiction and fantasy books that are being published today. It is Tuesday. Books are nearly always published on Tuesdays, and this very Tuesday we have 10 fantasy titles to tell you about, six science fiction titles, and four horror titles. Although we're counting one of those books as both fantasy and horror because there's a lot of intermingling in the science fiction fantasy genre. It's very friendly that way. Now, Locus Magazine covers science fiction, fantasy, horror, and related books, and we keep a pretty close eye on science fiction, fantasy publishing in general. But you don't need to know any of that to want to hear about what new books are being published this week. We'll start with discussing a few fantasy books in some detail. First up, we'll talk about young adult fantasy novel Before Takeoff by author Adi Al Sayed and publisher Knopf Books for Young Readers. This title comes out in hardcover, ebook, and audio. The book got a starred review from Publishers Weekly, who said, Al Sayed's ominous, high stakes narrative steadily creeps towards a gripping resolution, balancing surprise, fantasy, drama, and cinematic romance for a multi layered read. Before Takeoff is about two teens who meet and begin to fall for each other while stranded in an Atlanta airport, but then they're drawn to this flashing green light, which turns out to be a sort of button that breaks the rules of the universe, causing weird disasters. And if you're going to have a disaster, it's probably best to have a weird one. Mundane disasters are no fun. Next, a fantasy novel, Little Bird, by author Tiffany Moret, coming out from Black Spot Books in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. Our hero Josie is fresh off a divorce, more or less a shut-in, grieving the loss of her father, and generally not doing an amazing job of coping with life. We've all been there, am I right? She's drinking too much, she's not doing great. Anyway, she wakes up one day to find a new shrub has occupied her backyard, and it's running amok. Plus, there's a nosy new neighbor and a talking skeleton named Skelly sitting on a throne made of vines. The shrub is sentient, by the way, and it's twisting its tendrils into Josie's newly complicated life. And all she has to do is work out why all of this is happening to her, and quickly. A writer of monsters and twisted fairy tales, author Tiffany Moretz, publications include Shoreline of Infinity, Luna Station Quarterly, Ellipsis Zine, and others. Another fantasy novel we want to talk about that's coming out today is Ordinary Monsters by author J.M. Miro. This historical dark fantasy slash horror novel is out from Flatiron in hardcover, ebook, and audio from the publisher's description, England, 1882. In Victorian London, two children with mysterious powers are hunted by a figure of darkness, a man made of smoke. This is the first book in the Talents trilogy. New York Times bestselling author Joe Hill describes it like this. Ordinary Monsters is a towering achievement, a dazzling mountain of wild invention, Dickensian eccentric supernatural horrors, and gripping suspense. Be warned, once you step into this penny dreadful to end all penny dreadfuls, you will never want to leave. Next up, we'll move over to SF titles, which we know you understand how acronyms work, but we mean science fiction when we say SF. From publisher Bain, we want to tell you about the original anthology Robo Soldiers, Thank you for your servos. Very clever. We like the pun. This book is edited by Stephen Lawson and coming out in ebook today, June 7th, 2022. This book includes stories by authors Richard Fox, David Drake, Weston Oakes, and Martin L. Shoemaker, and it's a military SF book about augmented soldiers in the future of warfare, with a foreword from Major General Stephen R. Hogan. Also from Bain today, we saw a new clan from authors David Weber and Jane Linskold. This is a young adult SF novel, fourth in the Star Kingdom series, featuring Stephanie Harrington, prequel to the Honor Harrington series, and it's coming out in hardcover, ebook, and audio. And today, it is a number one release title on Amazon in the children's science fiction and fantasy category. Jane Linskold is the award-winning New York Times bestselling author of over 80 short stories and more than 30 novels, including the eight-volume Firekeeper saga, aka The Wolf Books, and co-author David Weber has written science fiction full-time for 30 years. He is probably best known for his Honor Harrington series from Bane Books and his Safehold series from Tor. From author Chelsea Vowell, we saw the science fiction collection Buffalo is the New Buffalo. This is coming out from publisher Arsenal Pulp and trade paperback, ebook, and audio. The title is a play on the catchphrase, education is the new buffalo, which is a metaphor used among indigenous peoples in Canada to signify the importance of education to their survival and ability to support themselves, as once Plains nations supported themselves as buffalo people. The assumption is that many of the pre-contact ways of living are forever gone, so adaptation is necessary, but 
Chelsea Vowell asks, instead of accepting that the buffalo and our ancestral ways will never come back, what if we simply ensure that they do? This is a collection of eight SF indigenous futurism stories drawing on Métis culture, envisioning a world without violence, capitalism, or colonialism. We also saw from Locus's own Tim Pratt, the SF gaming tie-in novel, Twilight Imperium, The Veiled Masters, coming out from publisher Aconite US in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a third book in a trilogy and has the big ideas and rich world building we expect from Pratt's novels. When black ops spy Amina Azad saves a Hakan ambassador from assassination, she draws him into her investigation of a vast conspiracy. Unseen forces are destabilizing the whole galaxy at the worst possible time. Pursued by agents from dozens of other factions, they can only make progress by allying with their apparent enemies. Tim Pratt is a Hugo Award-winning SF and fantasy author and finalist for the World Fantasy, Sturgeon, Stoker, Mythopaic, and Nebula Awards, among others. He is the author of over 20 novels and scores of short stories. And I mentioned we had a few horror titles to tell you about. We'll do that next. From publisher Knopf, we saw A Secret About a Secret by author Peter Spiegelman in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is an alternate world thriller slash horror novel with near future dystopian elements about the murder of a gifted scientist at a secluded research facility. I don't know how you like your research facilities, but I'm pretty sure they're always secluded off the beaten path, which probably means the researchers have a lousy commute. Cyber thievery, lust, corporate espionage, and a host of deleterious secrets comprise the chords of this sweeping, riveting symphony. A bold and original thriller by a masterful storyteller. That quote is from Elizabeth Brundage, author of The Vanishing Point. Next up, we'll mention an original anthology. That means the stories have not been published before, as opposed to a reprint anthology, from award-winning anthology editor Ellen Datlow. The book is called Screams from the Dark. The title is out from Nightfire in hardcover and ebook. The theme is Tales of Monsters and the Monstrous. We've got 29 new stories from authors including Stephen Graham Jones, Caitlin R. Kiernan, Joe R. Lansdale, and Joyce Carol Oates. Ellen Datlow is a winner of the World Fantasy Award, the Hugo Award, and the Bram Stoker Award, among many others. She's currently acquiring short stories and novellas for Tor.com and Nightfire, and she's been editing horror books and stories for four decades. From author David Kep, we saw the apocalyptic thriller slash horror novel Aurora coming out from publisher Harper in hardcover, ebook, and audio. The title will be coming out from Netflix as a film adaptation from Academy Award-winning director Catherine Bigelow. In Aurora, Illinois, Aubrey Wheeler is just trying to get by after her semi-criminal ex-husband split, leaving behind his unruly teenage son. Then the lights go out, not just in Aurora, but across the globe. A solar storm has knocked out power almost everywhere. Suddenly, all problems are local, very local, and Aubrey must assume the mantle of fierce protector of her suburban neighborhood. So we do our best to tell you about everything we see, but there isn't time to go into a lot of detail with everything, so we'll move fast from here on out. From author Andrew Joseph White and Peach Treatine, we saw the young adult apocalyptic SF novel Hell Followed With Us in hardcover, ebook, and audio about a trans teen boy raised by a fundamentalist cult that unleashed Armageddon, decimated the population, and infected him with a bioweapon. From Orbit US and author Hannah Witten, we saw a dark fantasy novel for the throne in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is the second book in the Wilder Woods series. We saw a literary epic fantasy called Wrath Goddess Sing by Maya Dean from HarperCollins, the Morrow imprint in hardcover, ebook, and audio, which re-envisions the Trojan War with Achilles as a trans woman. We saw Francesco Dimitri's Never the Wind by Titan Books US in trade paperback and ebook. This is a gothic fantasy novel narrated by a teen in Southern Italy who has recently gone blind, and it's set in the same world as the Book of Hidden Things. From Solaris, U.S. and author Alex Livingston, we saw The Knave of Secrets in hardcover, ebook, and audio about a card shark magician gambling with secrets. From Bloomsbury, USA, and author Bridget Kemmerer, we saw YA fantasy novel Forging Silver into Stars in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is the first in a new series in the world of the Cursebreaker trilogy. In a land where magic is deadly and has been banned for generations, one magesmith has found a way around the rules. Rules are overrated. 
Anyway, next up we saw another YA fantasy novel, this one from the publisher Flux and author Rachel Menard, called Game of Strength and Storm, in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a story about young people racing to complete ten nearly impossible labors to get their wishes granted by the Olympian Empress. Three more books, we can do this. We saw the title of Visitors from publisher and other stories and writer Jesse Jezuska Stevens. This is an SF novel fable type story set on the eve of the Occupy Wall Street protests about a woman who has a persistent hallucination of a garden gnome who's really into systems collapse. The Visitors is coming out in hardcover, ebook, and audio. We saw the young adult fantasy novel Wounded Little Gods by author Eliza Victoria coming out from Tuttle in hardcover, ebook, and audio. Regina's town believes the gods have abandoned them, but a message leads Regina to a mysterious facility that no one seems to know about. This is the first novel. Finally, from Farrar Strauss Giroux and author Rose Sabo, we saw We All Fall Down. In hardcover, ebook, and audio, this is a young adult dark fantasy novel, the first in the River City duology. Right here in River City. Despite our very linear focus on the books that are coming out this week, humans are non-linear creatures and we're totally capable of looking at the past and learning from it. We can also tell you about recent books in our section in case you missed it. So I wanna mention the novella Flowers for the Sea by Zin E. Rocklin out in October 2021 from Tor.com and Trade Paper. Our reviewer Gabino Iglesias described the book like this. Eroxy and her people are survivors floating around in a vast ocean in the aftermath of the flooding of their kingdom. Running out of food, with no real medical attention or medicine, and a beast that can devour them whole, circling their vessel, their lives are a shadow of what they'd once been. Eroxy, who in better times refused a prince more than once, is also pregnant, scared, angry, and ostracized by almost everyone else on the boat. The creature inside her could end them all, especially if it's not entirely like the rest of them. Why some kids are different is a mystery, but it keeps the pages turning. Rockland has a knack for seamlessly weaving in and out of different genres while always keeping the same breakneck speed in the storytelling. That's from a recent review in Locust Magazine. This is an impressive debut, and we're looking forward to what's next from this author. Do us a favor. Next time you're in the underworld, maybe don't eat any pomegranates because that didn't work out so well for Persephone. But here's what you can do for us. Find their science fiction book club because the underworld probably has at least one skiffy book club. And make sure you drop the name Locust Mag. They probably already know about Locust Mag in the underworld, but we wanna make sure we get the word out about what we're trying to do covering the science fiction fantasy publishing landscape. This YouTube channel, is a new project to try to bring an audiovisual version of some of the masses of content that Locus puts together every month. And even though the dudes in the underworld probably know all about Locus Magazine, they might not know we have a YouTube channel. And we're on all the socials because we're very sociable. We are at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on all the places you would think to look for us. And if you'd like to know more about Locust Magazine, we cover SF, fantasy, horror, and YA books that are coming out. We do monthly book reviews, regular columns by people like Cory Doctorow, we interview authors, talk to artists, we report on writers' workshops and conventions, we run a lot of photos of people and book covers. And the magazine has been doing that sort of stuff pretty well since 1968. If you want to understand what's happening in the publishing field, both now and recently and in the future, we'll tell you about it. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.